Hello, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to do a quick unboxing and review of the King Bolin e Elite OBD2 Bluetooth Scanner. So come on, let's begin. All right, so again, this is the King Bolin e Elite OBD2 Bluetooth Scanner. So with this one, this is a small um, OBD2 scanner. So it's technically a dongle that you can plug in onto your OBD2 port uh, to diagnose uh, any warning lights that may show up on your vehicle. So it can read erase code. It can do live data stream. It has a bi-directional control. Um, yeah, so it also... Once you connect this, it also scans the VIN number automatically on your vehicle. Also, this one, actually, this one can do what other expensive scanner can do. Uh, I've been using some other scanners, another brand. Those are nice too. This is also nice. Uh, you can do the oil reset on this one, the brake reset. On some vehicles, they have those battery management uh, system and you can reset that also with this one the SAS reset you can do that here too I um, think you can do the injector coding and some ABS bleeding on this one so again there will be an app that we can download on this one to control everything and one good thing on this one it's a no subscription uh, service that you can use this because some you will be required to have a subscription sometimes it will have a free one year free two years but after that you'll have to pay subscription especially if you need to update it sometimes you need to uh, subscribe uh, basically it has a paywall on it but this one it's free no subscription for a lifetime update all right so let's open this one there's really nothing uh here in the box to talk about on the box itself so it has some specs that's it and basically what it can do yeah so let's open it up hmm. all right that's nice it has a small pouch the box in there and then you have some user guide so it has some activation code in here Serial number, so th basically the QR code. I might just blur that. Okay, so what else? Basically, this is just a manual on how to set it up. You can scan the QR code in here for uh, downloading the app. Okay, on the app store. We're going to do that later. Uh, has another manual in here just different language okay this is nice that it comes with a small pouch and the good thing we can actually test this on my friend's uh, vehicle he got a nissan xterra got some error codes we will check if this one can actually read them and so that we can find out what's wrong with the vehicle uh if they're just if it just needs to get cleared or we can actually find the solution this one has some nice build quality in this one i like it huh okay and this is bluetooth connection so that's nice so yeah so there's really nothing to see here let me download the app and we're going to work on my friend's vehicle so that we can scan this all right all right so we're just downloading the app before we proceed on the car and we're going to activate this and i'll show you the process so it says king bolin let's just allow everything so i just need to log in all right so we're logged in so what we need to do is we're just going to need to add the device 
So we can activate device. And now we can scan the QR code that's in here. And once we scan this, we can actually All right, so there you go. Congratulations, binding, successful, blah, 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 blah. So this is uh, installed already. So yeah, so, okay. So what I'm going to do is check this one out. So it says here, eDiag Elite. We have it added in there. So yeah, so now we can actually use this on the car. All right, so let's go and let's start scanning this Nissan Xterra. All right, so now we have the dongle plugged in on the OBD2 port. We open up our uh, app and now let's put it into ignition. All right, but don't start it all right so now let's go to the thingy and let's check the all system diagnostics Let's do the VIN scan and it should automatically scan the vehicle. So you have to wait. Again, this is the first time use on this one. So let's see. I don't know if it's really scanning right now. Let's click on the, I guess it does. It doesn't respond. There you go. So it's downloading some software so again this is the first time use of this device so we'll be right back all right so now I finished updating let's click the automatic search uh, let's do North America let's I think let's do North America common and this is the Xterra Hold on, we need to check if it's the N50 or the WD22. Okay, so this is the N50 2005. And then let's try the health report first. We already know that it has a check engine light and the VDC on or off. VDC on. Off. Oh, yeah. yeah, it has a B VDC off. So we're scanning on this right now so that we can find the fix. Okay, so it's scanning. We'll be right back once it's 100%. Hopefully, this can be fixed by simply clearing it. <laughs> but we'll see what the error code. So, engine ABS. Let's see here. On the engine, what code is it? Read the fault code. So we got the P0340. Okay, and we have a P0550. So something about sensor circuitry. Let's click on it. So it will open up Google. And this is a nice scanner in here. So it's for the camshaft positioning sensor for the P044, uh, P0340. Okay, how about the P0550? All right, so for the P0550 code, it is for the power steering pressure sensor circuit. So we have to check those so yeah so now i want to check what error code 
and it's on the ABS so good thing there's no fault on the airbag can I click this I should there there you go yeah so if you want to purchase this dongle I'll put the link in the description below this will be helpful and very inexpensive troubleshooting DIY troubleshooting uh, so that you'll know what error is in your vehicle so that's this one so VDC so vehicle dynamic control so it has something to do with the steering angle sensor that's why okay okay so this one the other error code it's for the ABS control module is not receiving a necessary engine signal so again we'll clear everything then we'll do some drive all right so I clear the code and we don't have any check engine light and the VDC switch is responding already so now we'll do a test drive so we're just gonna drive around here to see if it comes up and I'll update you all right so we already came back and unfortunately we got the warning lights again so I cleared them out again so yeah so for this one I just cleared them out so that he can go home properly and yeah so we have to go to the shop now to get this fixed properly so again the issue here is the power steering uh, there's some issue with the power steering with the sensor with the circuitry uh, there's no physical damage we have fluids on the power steering fluid so that's good with the ABS again that's getting low signal from the engine so yeah so we just have to check that one out so in this case it's just gonna go to a shop to get it fixed all right so again if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing thank you for watching